So steps we're going to go through today is first, I'm going to clean down the radiators and make sure they're all dust free and they're ready to spray. I'm going to tape off any like little valves like this, which I can't get off for now, um, just so they're completely masked up. We're going to mix the paint and dilute it, ready for the spray gun. Give a test out and kind of see what angle I need to get in, because there's so many little details which I don't really want to miss. So we'll do a bit of a test on this sheet behind me and then we'll start to uh, looking at spraying them. Which I'm really excited for. <laughs> The first step before we start um, painting is make sure it's all dust free. Any bit of dust or plaster or anything which settles in it can kind of show up on your paint. So I'm going to use some sugar spray, a cloth and try and wipe that down to make sure it's all clean and prepared. So I'm going to be using a spray gun to spray my radiators um, and the first protocol is to start watering it down. So start with like 10% of water um, and you can build it up if it does need. So I'm going to try, because I've got a litre tin, I've got 100 ml of water, so that should be that 10% waterage. Um, mix it up and see how it goes. I do have a handy contraption of to mix paint, which is chopsticks in a drill. I wouldn't recommend it, but um, it's improvisation when needed. <laughs> So yeah, I'll pour 400 mil in, see how that sprays, because it might be too thick. To give it a quick test coat to see how it missed, and then I might need to add another 100 mil of water, but I'll see first. I've got the whole mix, got 10% water anyway. So let's see. Yeah, good test. Um, I kind of don't need to water it down and I can also get quite close to it. Um, it's quite aerated, so I don't think we're getting those drips. So I can get to that detail of getting there to get in between just by those little detail things there. So yeah, I think we're ready to go. So if you don't have a paint sprayer as well, you can paint your radiators using um, a brush. For something that's got detail like this, I'd use like a skirting brush. It's got this little peak, which will kind of get in all the details. And the best tip I can give you when you paint your radiator is, is like short, even strokes. Don't use a lot of paint because that can cause strip marks. So you just want something where you're dabbing away a bit of excess and you're just lightly coating that and just making sure that's really smooth. So you can always put on more, but you can't really take away. So you just want to make sure it can be quite tricky is just make sure you're not catching any drip marks. So just really light, even coats, and that should kind of get your details in. So I've done my test patch and I'm so scared and so excited. So I hope it'll go to plan, but I think it will. Um, so let's go spray him. So as you can see, difference from the unpainted to the painted, lovely colour. It's got this bronzy, earthy undertone. I'm so happy with how they've turned out. The spray gun worked really well. Um, in terms of these two radiators, it's used maybe 300 mils of paint. So a litre of paint would actually probably do about five radiators, which is great. Um, big difference to this. It's got a beautiful like sheen to it as well. It's not too glossy, but like a nice sheen to the eggshell. Um, Really, really pleased with them. Really pleased with them. I can't wait to get them in. <laughs>